Welcome back to your fantasy football buddies. I'm Stephen Miranda. I'm Jeff Ellis, and it is Thursday, September 1st, 2011. Already September football is almost here. Today we're talking about a big deal for Chris Johnson. We've got our super sleeper alert at every position. Ah, uh, yes, and we're look, taking a look at fantasy football for James and knowing your limits. And finally, we have a viewer question coming in via Skype. <laughs> All okay. right, Jeff, here we go. Look at buddy. Chris Johnson. Where oh. is he? Go get him. <laughs> Go get him. Okay, get Go him get him. Chris Johnson. CJ Y2K, yes, baby. Us. Right here. <laughs> Rising like the phoenix out of the ashes. Oh, okay, I am mighty. Give me my Chris. Chris Johnson, though. Nice autograph there. Chris Johnson. Did you win that in a fantasy football uh, league? I, not in a fantasy football league, but I did win it in a contest. Nice. Chris Johnson, thank you very much, by the way. And four-year extension. $53 million, and most importantly, in Rants and Raves land, 30, 30 million, million gura. gura. There you go. That's his guaranteed that dollars. That is a lot of money. That equals, by the way, that guaranteed dollars, $470,000 per game. <laughs> That's a lot of money. But more importantly, in fantasy football, it makes him okay and safe to go ahead and draft in the top of round one. Whew. Yes, because uh, Jeffrey had to do it. And I took him in the 11th pick, and I was stressing out wow. because if he doesn't play, I'm screwed. <laughs> but I always handcuffed him, so don't worry about that. He's going to be good. All right, Jeffrey. Get into our super sleeper, super shall we? Super sleepers. Now, other other sites out there, uh, we won't mention any names. ESPN. But <laughs> what? <laughs> they, they, like, Tourette's. they like to, you know. NFL.com. <laughs> They like to basically just tell you, uh, this guy is good and this guy is good. Well, Make, yeah, sure you start Adrian Peterson. Make sure you start Adrian Peterson this week. <laughs> and Chris Johnson. Okay, look, here are some super sleepers, names that aren't sexy. They're not on the ta- top of anybody's boards. But if you're stressing about a certain position, these are guys you should look at. And Jeffrey. their mamas think they're sexy. All right, at the quarterback position, I like Colt McCoy. He's only been taken in 28% of ESPN leagues. 28%? Are you kidding me? Have you seen what kind of preseason this guy's had? He had a great end of last season as well. So, if you need a quarterback to back up your star, Colt McCoy might be someone you should consider. Somebody else to look at is Kyle Orton of the Denver Broncos. He is only owned in 56% of leagues. Only? And, well, here's the thing. It, one of the a recent development in fantasy football land with running backs by committees is quarterback by committees is a new thing that people are trying to play with is playing matchups. I've but, seen a lot. I've seen did. a lot of articles on this, Steven. Okay. And Kyle Orton would certainly be somebody that you could utilize, especially in a role like that, where you're looking to match up week to week. Great starting quarterback. And especially, um, yeah, I don't know why people aren't taking him in the top upper 13, 14 quarterbacks. Arian Foster, folks, who, you know, has tweeted about us fantasy footballers. Yeah. And apparently we're all sick. But um, <laughs> enough about that. Because of his uncertainty with his hamstring, you should take a look at Ben Tate. Ben Tate, the other running back for the Houston Texans, has looked phenomenal this preseason. And he is only owned right now in 38% of leagues. We like him a lot. We like him a lot. He looks somewhat similar to Arian Foster, the way he handles things. Javon Ringer was, until today, my go-to guy that I was grabbing in the 15th round because he's only owned in 15% of leagues, but now he's nothing more than handcuffed to CJY2K. That's Big right. payday. So another running back that you should consider, Darian Sproles. Darren Sproles, who is now with the New Orleans Saints. Look, we like the way the Saints are going to utilize him. We actually were uh, got the chance to be out at camp and see the New Orleans Saints practice. If you're in a PPR league, he's going to be catching a lot of balls out of the out of backfield. You should consider. I see Derek him with Sproles. at least 12 touches a week. He's going to be great. Wide receivers. Antonio Brown, 24%. Now, I love this. Ben Beck, Ben Beck, Ben Beck, Big Ben and the Pittsburgh Steelers are loving life, having having Mike Wallace out there, having Ben Tate on the other side, not Ben Tate, Antonio Brown on the other That's side, right. having Heinz Ward in the slot, having Rashard Mendenhall in the backfield. The it's like, this is crazy. Ben Roethlisberger is loving life. All these guys are going to get lots of points and lots of touches. Lots of weapons, and Antonio Brown has taken touchdowns of 40-plus Twice in the preseason, looking really good, using his speed, and he's also going to be used as a returner. So if you're in a league that gives you return yardage, there you go. Don't miss Nate Burleson either. Only owned in 43% of the league's Detroit Lions. going to be big. Wow, I like him because Matt Stafford is finding a comfort there with Burleson. And when they get deep, close into the end zone in the red zone, if they can't find Calvin Johnson, Burleson will certainly be a target. Fantasy football for James, folks. Oh, he's just Reminds a little. Reminds me a little, little bit of the cowardly lion. He's Oof. just a little Oof. lion. Look at Oof. him. <laughs> 
All right. Well, look, rookies, 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 and rookies. noobs. noobs. Uh, James has uh, choo, come choo, and choo. told us about all of his fantasy football four ways, Jeffrey. And this leads us to, to tell you, know your limits. Okay? You have to know your limits. James has now started in the one league that we kind of made him be in a part of, and now he has so many leagues he doesn't know what to do with them. You have to know your limits. And more importantly, the reason we're saying this is you have to be able to manage all of your teams. I'm in upwards of 20 leagues myself. And what you mean by limits, basically, Stephen, is no, manage, know how many teams you can actually handle. Yeah. And I would say if you are an uber noob, the most teams you can actually successfully manage in a year is four. I went in my first year, I was post-Favre pack. <laughs> I mean, I was only going to brew for the Packers as long as Brett Favre was gone. And I was very upset with him. But anyways, I joined one. I ended up joining two because I knew I could do better. Then I joined three because I was having so much fun. Four, five, six. You can't manage all these rosters, and you're not much fun to play with. Yeah, not when you're starting early. I, I, Jeff says four. I say if you're starting out Two teams. Limit yourself to two teams. Learn. And, and learn how to manage the game because You're gonna I suck. do. I have about 20 teams, and I manage each and every one of them every week. And you need to be able to do that. Otherwise, your your, your league just doesn't – isn't as fun. And the, the your league mates, they'll be like, uh, dude, manage your team. Don't leave guys out there on bye weeks playing. You Absolutely. Know? And so you got to know your limits. Now, our viewer question comes to us via our Skype email box. And our Skype mailbox, Stephen, how do people get a hold That's of that? That's right. NFL r and Go to Skype. Type in NFL r and You can get our voice mailbox, and you can leave us a recorded message. This comes from Blake in Seattle, and he asked, Jeffrey, I have the Steelers D, but I did not draft a second defense. Should I drop a wide receiver like Lee Evans or Danny Amendola and get a second D? No. No, no, no. no. <laughs> hold on to those guys. They're great on your bench. What you want to do, if you've got a premier defense – Look, what's it going to take for that defense to break down? Troy Palomalo still goes away. That's still a good defense. Yep. You're going to have to have the end of the earth happen like a train accident or something before you would need another defense if you have a stud defense. Only other time you would ever need two defenses is if you have a middle-range defense. Yep. Yeah, at this point, wait for the Steelers' bye week. A week or two before the Steelers' bye, go out and get you a defense to play that week. But ride the Steelers' defense. You don't need to have two defenses on your bench. That's all the time we got. I'm Stephen Miranda. I'm Jeff Ellis. For your fantasy football buddies. Out. Out.